truck from League City has some concerns about spalling brick. Yeah, his has started spalling on a house they built with Acme Brick back in 2003. I say the brand because they were involved in the story, Tom, but he has concerns because he's seeing this problem with his bricks around the house. So Truck writes, I contacted Acme and they said it's possible moisture is trapped behind the bricks and recommended having a plumber examine it. So the plumber then recommended that I talk to a water remediation company, which then referred me back to the plumber because he said there's no moisture inside but high moisture outside. He says, I can cut drywall and um, didn't find any moisture behind the wall. I can get them replaced, but shouldn't I find the source first? What say you? It looks to me, and I, from what I can see from a picture, is the weep holes were not installed properly. People just don't understand how weep holes work. And so they lay these bricks up. They don't have clear water passage down to the bottom. If you notice, the spalling is down along the bottom edges mm -hmm. where all that efflorescence is growing because there's water in there. Of course there's water in there uh, because it gets rained on and, the, and, the bricks, and that brick gets wet behind it. I don't care if it's Acme brick. It still gets wet behind it. In fact, Acme brick has holes in it. People say, oh, the holes make it bond together. No, the holes were there so they could save on material. And so they can make the brick at a cheaper price and sell it at a higher price. So that's the only reason those holes are there. But as far as that goes, I think the weep holes were put in wrong or maybe not at all. I'm having a hard time seeing a clean weep hole in that picture. But you got to bring the water it, and bring it back up again one more time. Yeah, I don't I don't see a single weep hole in the picture at all. And, and, and Charlie, if you look at some of the mortar does not look like it was done very well. It looks like some of the mortar is breaking out about from what I'm looking at that picture, three rows above where you're starting to get mortar that's coming out. That's another sign of moisture. And it's also a sign that the mortar mix was very weak, it had a lot of sand and not a lot of cement. Uh, or Portland, as they call it in there. And so that can make a weak mix too, which takes a lot more water behind it also. So I'm not sure what you can do. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I don't think the brick is ever, you're going to have to wash it with a little brick brick wash, which is an acid-based cleaner. And you might to stop it from happening. And don't start tearing your walls up. Don't start bringing the plumber in. Don't do any of that. So I just had to throw that out there. Uh, a brick hardener, have it put on the outside. You could get a painter or someone who does coatings to do a brick hardener on there so the water doesn't penetrate. The water just glistens off the surface down to the bottom. That helps a lot. They do that a lot on chimneys and things that, that really get beat by the, by the rain and will take water sometimes during super heavy rains. You can talk to our roofer, Jim, over at Ideal Roofing. He'll tell you that after these big heavy rains, he'll get calls about leaks in chimneys and it's just because the brick got saturated. And the best solution is always just a brick hardener, have that chimney painted so the water doesn't uh, transfer behind into the uh, backside of the brick. So if I find myself in a place like truck here where there clearly aren't weep holes, Tom, is it possible to retrofit? I mean, you just knock holes in there and put a weep hole in? Is that what you, you'd recommend? You, you can visually put a weep hole in, but to explain it quickly, when you start laying brick down where the weep holes go, you end up putting just some bricks there and about two or three that aren't mortared in. And then the bricks go up. And when they're laying brick up, mortar falls down the back. Now, as the mortar falls all the way to the bottom, they'll have someone go in there. Once the brick gets laid up, they'll pull those loose bricks out and they'll have a helper. They'll, they'll keep uh, moving the mortar out of that one area and cleaning that area where it hits the slab until all the brick is done. Then the masons will go back later and lay two bricks in with a nice sweep hole on maybe either side of a brick or however they're doing it and make it look nice and neat and even. But behind it, it's all clear. So as the water comes down, it'll find its way to the brick hole without getting just on top of mortar and just sitting there and saturating. So my answer is it's really difficult if they just kept dumping the mortar behind there, which they do a lot. Nobody cleaned out where the, where the weep holes were supposed to go. And so it's got so much mortar back there. Even though it looks like you have a weep hole, that mortar back there is holding the water from getting to it. And it's just saturating the brick. And that's where all that efflorescence, that spalling, sometimes the face of the brick will start to crack off. It's the moisture. So the best way to do it, like even a boat, you can't fix a boat for the most part on the inside, you go from the outside. Although that's not necessarily always true in big ships, they weld on the inside. But you have to get to the outside and stop the water from coming through. Once it comes through, it's on its own. You're not gonna be able to deal with it then. But you're gonna have moisture 
on the inside just naturally happening and getting in there, right? Behind the brick? If you put a brick hardener, it won't get in. It'll stop okay. from getting back behind there. So what I'm getting at is, is you have to, it's like a basement. You can seal the inside all you want, but usually you have to dig out around the basement. Charlie, you know this from up north. And they have to waterproof the walls. Then they go ahead and put the granite fill back in. And that way you kind of waterproof your basements from the outside, not the inside. So the short answer is there's no way to retrofit we poles in if no. they weren't put in in the first place. If they weren't put in properly in the first place. And I think in this guy's case, I would look at a brick hardener and I would have the house painted with a brick hardener. It lasts a long time and it will keep the water from going behind it. And it gives it a better look. I think it'll, the brick will look nice. All right. You got a question? Tom, I'll help you. Go click on that Ask Tom button right there, homeshowradio.com. Brings you to this page here. As you can see, you can send us in your questions and videos and pictures and everything else we need to help give you a good answer like that and help you out. Because that's what we're here for. And Tom loves to do it. We, that's why we post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page. And, of course, you'll find bazillions of them living over on our YouTube channel.